In today's video, we're going to take a look at the main features of Burnley 73. The 1073 is one of the most sought after Class A mic preamps, and it's all because of its tone. Inspired by this classic analog hardware, Burnley 73 is an equalizer with three semi-parametric bands, a filter, and controls for gain and output, much like the iconic 1073. This plugin fully recreates the characteristics of each EQ band and the unique personality of both the 1073's line and mic inputs. The filter section on the left-hand side of the plugin is a high-pass filter with five frequency positions. Off, 50, 80, 160, and 300 hertz. The low band control is a shelving EQ with four selectable frequencies, 35, 60, 110, and 220 Hz. The mid band is a bell style filter with six selectable frequencies, 360 Hz, 700 Hz, 1.6K, 3.2K, 4.8K, and 7.2K. Finally, the high band is a shelving EQ with a fixed frequency at 12 kHz for high frequency control. The saturation section of the plugin is represented by the classic red knob on the right hand side. Turning the knob counterclockwise from the off position engages the line mode, which adds some color to the signal with subtle saturation. On the other hand, turning the knob clockwise from the off position engages the mic mode, adding more distortion to the signal. Using values from 10 to 20 will add a moderate amount of color to your track. Values from 20 to 40 will introduce more obvious saturation. Values higher than 40 will push the saturation effect into overdrive, which can be great for warm and crunchy vocals, keys, overheads, or room mics. Burnley 73 can be used exclusively as a saturation plugin by clicking the EQ in option so it's grayed out. This bypasses the EQ section. In addition, each band can be individually bypassed by clicking on the corresponding symbol above the knob. When the symbol is red, the band is bypassed, and a white symbol indicates that the band is engaged. The plugin also comes with a phase button to invert the phase of the output. Very helpful for checking and fixing phase coherence when mixing different microphone signals recording the same source. Finally, the plugin comes with an output control knob to compensate the volume level after EQ and or saturation. Burnley 73 is phenomenal on vocals, drums, guitars, and it can even inject some life into any virtual instruments in your productions. And with its carefully optimized low CPU usage, you can add as many instances you need without having to worry about if your computer can handle it. Let's have a listen to some examples. As you can see here, I'm pretty much just trying to focus the sound of the drums so they're a bit more present, a bit more upfront and a little bit less muddy. Let's have a listen to the before and the after. So right off the bat, there's a pretty big difference. Primarily what we did was make the drums stand out a bit more by bringing up the highs and some of the low end body while also removing some of the boxiness. And with the kick drum, because we had several microphones, I tried to EQ them differently. I'm removing a bit of the high end in some of them and even filtering to focus more on the punch of the kick while the others are just enhancing the low end. Again, the sound is more focused, upfront, and aggressive. Also, pushing up the microphone level in all of them will increase the harmonic distortion and make the drums sound a bit dirtier. In this second example, we're going to EQ some guitars in a very similar way. We want to make them a bit more present and remove any low-end rumble that's showing up in the recorded tracks. Let's have a listen.
So what I did here was filter up to 80 hertz. I brought up some low end at 220 just to add a little bit more body to the guitar because the recording was sounding a bit thin. I'm also slightly boosting the mids and highs to add a bit of grit. Together with the mic saturation, it becomes more present in the mix. And finally, here's an example of how Burnley 73 can be used to EQ vocals. Again, we're removing some low end rumble and making them sound a bit more focused and present. I think Burnley 73 does a fantastic job on vocals. Let's have a listen. X-rays and lazy days Fear zing love will bombs Bloody mouths and candlesticks Festivals need trash so again, there's a pretty big difference between bypassed and engaged. We're doing some very mild filtering just to remove some of the low end rumble. And again, we're boosting a bit of 220 on the vocals just to add some more body to them like we did with the guitars. Adding a bit of 3.2 and boosting the high shelf makes them pop out a little bit more. We're increasing the mic level pretty mildly between 10 and 20 while also compensating the output. In closing, Burnley 73 will make a great addition to your workflow. It can be used on many different sources and will add a great analog vibe to your recorded tracks. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to find out more about Sonimus products. Until next time.